Welcome here everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to properly set up a bungee cord network. If you don't know what a bungee cord network is, I will demonstrate in just a second. So this is our bungee cord network. So we can call this white one here, the bungee cord server. This server you will never physically be in when you're playing Minecraft. And then we got server one and server two. We'll call server one our lobby, where everybody connects to when they first connect to our network. And then server two can be our survival or whatever else we want it to be. Now this is the minimum amount of servers needed in order to create a bungee cord network. You need to always have three servers. Now your main bungee cord server does not need to be very powerful. It can be, in fact, as cheap as you want it. It does not, you know, it could be one gig, half a gig, and it probably would run just fine. If you notice it is problems, you can always upgrade it a bit, take a look at the usage that it's using, but chances are a cheap one gig server is going to be fine. So this is what happens. When you're joining the network, this will be you, and you get sent along to the lobby, maybe. Bad ping. There you go. You are at the lobby. Now let's say you want to connect to survival. Let's get rid of this torch. I really should have thought about this uh, whole demonstration a bit better. But if you want to get sent over to survival, you're going to get sent right back over to the proxy, the bungee cord proxy. And then the bungee cord proxy is pretty much just going to redirect you to that server. So it's going to be like this, do a couple switches, and now we should be good to go. And now it sends you over to the survival, like that. There you go. Now you're connected to survival. And that's exactly how it works. All the bungee cord server is doing is just connecting however many servers you have, maybe two, maybe ten, doesn't really matter. Whatever you got, it's connecting those servers together that you can easily connect to another server without typing in or adding another IP address to your multiplayer uh, whatever list of servers. You know what I'm talking about. So that's exactly what a bungee cord uh, network looks like. So now I'm going to run you through exactly how to set it all up. Bear in mind, if you are on a budget, this may not be for you because you do need three servers to make this work. So just uh, keep that in mind, that this is not exactly the cheapest route. If you just need one server, just stick with the one server for now. You can always add a bungee cord network to it in a later date. Anyways. I'm going to show you now how to set it up. I'm going to go grab myself three servers, probably just running off my computer, since that will be a whole lot cheaper, and I will set them up with you. See you then. All right, so I went ahead and created a folder in my computer called Bungie Cord, and in that folder I have three other folders, one called Bungie Cord, which will be what connects our other servers together, one called Lobby, which is our lobby server, and one called Survival, which will be our survival server. So let's go ahead and set these up. I created a run.bat for each of them. This is what I'm currently using, just half a gig of RAM per server. So let's go ahead and start setting up all these servers. There you go, this one's set up. Now we can go ahead and open the configuration. Whoa, that was weird. And uh, Let's go under servers, here you go, server, let's copy this one here, and create another one, and let's change this name to survival, that's incorrect, servers on the mind, survival, and this port will do three at the end, and this one will do four, so we're just changing that from the default port, and we're also going to change this port here to the default port. You know, you don't have to do any of this. This is just how I like to set them up. This way, when I connect to the proxy, I am just going to use the default port, so I don't have to put a port in. Otherwise, it would have had to be uh, 25577 at the end. I'd rather not see ports in the servers that I set up. It just looks so much more professional without that. 
So now that's all done. I don't think there's anything else we really need to do in here. You can also do uh, IP forward. I'm just going to leave that one for now. No need to change it right now. And there's also online mode, which just uh, if you have that at true, it's going to disable any uh, cracked versions from connecting. I always keep that true. That way only the legit Minecraft players can actually join. And let's take a look at our other ones. So they have not set up yet, and that's because you need to change this right here to true. And we'll do the same on survival. And you probably should read this if you've never read it before. It pretty much just says you cannot have any uh, microtransactions on your server that give uh, a player an advantage over other players in such a way that it's not, it, it would be unfair, I guess. They're pretty much just trying to prevent, you know, servers from, uh, you know, pay to win type things, which is great. So I'll start these up. Now it says it's outdated. I guess I downloaded an outdated version or I had an out outdated version on my computer. No big deal. Should be just fine. So let's just wait for these to start up. Okay, this one's ready to go. All we need to do is open up our spigot.yml, edit, and we'll change bungee cord false to bungee cord true right here. Save it. And we also need to open up our server properties. And we will change, uh, where is it? The server port. I do believe this one was supposed to be three or four. I'm not even sure. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and also online mode false because that's going to be now uh, controlled by our proxy, our bungee cord. And otherwise, this will not work. And let's also do uh, this one over here. Let's do it in the same order so I don't get confused. Bungee cord. True. And server properties. We'll change the IP. Uh, what did I do the other one at? I don't want to do the same one. I think four, and we should be good. And then also the online mode to false. There you go. So let's go ahead and just close these. I'm going to just force close them. I don't know if that actually force closes them, but that's how I'm doing it. There you go. I am just going to now double check the ports just to make sure I got them right. Otherwise, it's going to bug me. So lobby is four and survival is three. Now under our config lobby is four. Survival is three. Yeah, we should be good. Alright, so we should be good to go. Let's run the survival and let's run the lobby. And let's also start up the proxy. That kind of rhymed in a way, in a weird way. So you can see it is right now listening on 0 .0 0.0.0.025565. So pretty much it is right now listening on the default port. Now this is not port forwarded. If you are going to be running it on your own machine, you do need a port forward super super important just search up how to do that it's going to be something to do with your router or your modem uh, it could even have something to do with your uh, internet service provider they may be blocking you from hosting a minecraft server that has happened quite a bit to people who try to host their own servers all right so i got my minecraft uh, booted up i'm going to try connecting to the local host uh, i'm thinking this should work once again, if you are using a hosting service provider like elsewhere, 
you're gonna have to use the external uh, IP address. So make sure you're you're changing this if you're not hosting it on your own machine. So let's go ahead and connect. Uh, kicked while connecting to lobby. Okay, so I'm gonna have to enable the IP forwarding. I was not sure about that. I quickly went into the bungee cord config file and switched the IP forwarding from false to true. So I'm just gonna join server. And it looks like everything is working. I am connecting to the lobby currently. It's just taking forever because my computer is not really powerful enough to run three different servers and Minecraft at the same time. Yeah, let's just change the render distance down a bit more. All right, there you go. And if we do slash server, there you go. You can see we got two different servers. I'm currently connected to the lobby and you can also connect I believe I am, yeah, it says I'm already connected to the lobby. And you can connect to the survival. You can also open up these ones here. And you can see the lobby one, I was connected. Or actually I was connected to the lobby that was this one over here and now I disconnected and now I'm connected to the survival so I can you know right there I can OP myself whatever I could do that on this one over here now I'm OP'd on all the servers so yeah that's pretty much how to set up a, a bungee cord network uh, you can just add as many servers as you like I don't know if there is a limit to how many you can uh, put together. But uh, that's pretty much how you do it there. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to you know, comment them or whatever, and I can try to answer them as I have time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to set up a bungee cord network. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.